What's up, my friends? Matt Vanacoro here with my friends at Gig Performer, and I just wanted to go quickly through my top five reasons to consider using a dedicated live performance app instead of simply loading up or queuing sounds in your DAW. So number one is shown off sort of bright, bold, and beautiful right in front of me, the configurable display and text size. As I am using my laptop with my keyboard, um, back in the day before we had live performance apps, and all I could do is queue up a variety of sounds inside of a digital audio workstation, I had to just use the up and down arrows to pick the next instrument. And that I'm sure that works for some people, but when your laptop is further away from you, it's really hard to see um, you know, which instrument you're at and navigate that. So it's a lot easier if you know you're not gonna be changing parameters on stuff. I like to open up a sound and see the label of that sound big and bright in front of me so I really know and have confidence in what sound it is, especially if I'm programming like a Broadway show type thing. So I've got my sound, I've got my space pad, and I know what it is. When I go to the next sound, the interface might look different. Uh, I've got some knobs, but they're nice and large, easy to control. Uh, while we're talking about switching sounds, uh, you can see that using a dedicated live performance app makes it easier to rotate through your sounds with MIDI. So as you can see right now, I'm not using a mouse or keyboard or the uh, buttons on my typing keyboard, especially as Apple uh, and various keyboard companies start shrinking those up and down arrow keys. It's really irritating. It's harder to go through the sounds in your DAW that way. Um, you have to reach over to your actual typing keyboard and Hope that you land on that little specific up or down arrow. So with live performance software, it's a lot easier to just rotate through using the something that you set up for MIDI. So I've got these buttons on my MIDI controller and I just tap it and it's right there on my keyboard. I got my hands on the keyboard. I could even use a pedal to go up and down. You can assign it to any MIDI thing that you want when you're using Gig Performer. So that's great. Now, creating multi timbral and layered sounds and splits is a lot easier in live performance software like Gig Performer as well. So as you see right now, I've got a nice piano and string sound. And I've got individual control over those. I can lower the piano. Right there, and lower the strings, that kind of thing. Creating that kind of patch in a DAW is a lot more complicated. First of all, you have to hope that your DAW will allow you to do that. So Logic does, you know, but I've got to like select two different tracks. And then from there, I've got to create a stack and I create this special summing stack and then I close it. And then I can probably label it piano and strings. Of course, let's bring the volume up of the Logic file here so I can hear it. We'll go back and bring the volume down of Gig Performer. And now in this setting, I don't have access to everything that I want, like the volume of the piano or strings individually, unless I reach over with the mouse and click on it and then lower this piano volume and then close it again so I don't clutter things up. So it's not really made for like, you know, live just reaching over and turning a knob and doing something. And as you saw inside of Gig Performer, since I can map MIDI to go up and down with my MIDI keys, I can easily map MIDI to control these knobs as well. So I can just reach up with my hand and control a knob. So it's really, it's made for that. It's a lot more convenient than, you know, going in to the submenu of the special track stack I made and adjusting things. So for live quick adjustment, it's great. Also, the thing I like is I get those individual level meters. So it's nice to just keep an eye on what's going on. And again, uh, just for those of us there that are seasoned veterans, uh, nice big labels. <laughs> Our eyes are going from reading all that cheap music. So I love having the nice big labels that I can see from far away or in the dark, you name it. Okay. So the other thing about creating these multi-layered sounds is that creating splits is a lot easier. So, you know, sometimes creating splits in your instrument is dependent on the instrument. So there's no way really to do it here within uh, the Logic window easily. And a lot of DAWs won't even let you do it at all. There's no environment like there is in Logic. You can open up the instrument itself and hope that it has some kind of keyboard restriction. But as you see, this one doesn't. So I'm kind of stuck with what I got here. But that's not the case using Gig Performer. So if I wanted to make this instead of a layer, a split, I can just simply go to the backspace rack view and I take the MIDI device controlling it. And then I set the learn, um, you know, set and learn the top and bottom keys for each of these devices. So I would just set up 
a MIDI device with top and bottom key restrictions. And then right there, bam. So whether my instrumenter supports it or not, that's the great thing is that Gig Performer can override it and say, okay, the left hand piano is only going to go up to C4. The right hand strings are going to go from C sharp five and above or C sharp four and above. And it doesn't matter whether the instrument supports it. Gig Performer does. So that's a great feature. Now, the other thing that I really like is the transitions, these smooth sound transitions between sounds. You really can't get that in a DAW. So let's say, for example, I want to use my DAW. So once again, I will kill the sound of Gig Performer. We'll raise up the volume of my DAW. There we go. And if I want to go from one sound to the next, like this classic brass pad, use it and play some piano. Well, the second I go to the next... Second I go to the next sound, the brass pad stops sounding. I can't play and hold and then go to the next sound. And it's gone. I can't do those really cool things. Um, and the transitions between sounds get just cut off and choppy, and I don't like that at all. So when I'm using Gig Performer, I don't have to deal with that. Uh, I can be on a pad. I can hit a note and hold it. And then I can hit my MIDI, switch to the next sound button. And as you hear, that pad is still being held until I decide to let it go. So I've got complete smooth sound effect transitions um, between the instruments. I mean, the reverbs don't get cut off, the delays, the effects, everything just sounds great moving from one sound to the next, which is really fantastic. Finally, for those of you that like to use it because you're, you're saying, oh, well, you know, I have to use my DAW because I'm loading up backing tracks or I, I want to use audio. Well, Gig Performer does audio as well. You can set up piano and guitar setups or guitar and vocal setups. So in this case, I've actually got this label piano and guitar. I should probably read and label it uh, guitar and vocal. Look how easy it is to rename those patches. Um, so guitar and vocal, I can alter my guitar volume so I can plug my guitar in and play. I can use all my great plugins I like, alter my vocal volume, turn the reverb on or off and delay on or off. I mean, those type of things are really difficult to do in a DAW on the fly when you're quick. You know, if you're like, okay, on the vocal, ah, I got to turn the reverb on. I go in there and click it. Oh, on the guitar, I'm going to lower the volume there. And in order to even enable guitar and vocal at the same time, like I can't just click one thing. I've got to enable the guitar, enable the vocal, and now my audience can hear it. But with Gig Performer, you set up these patches that just have it already set up and already mixed to where you like with the effects on or off as you like them. And if you're not going to control reverb and delay, you don't need to see them. That's the great thing is like if you're like, you know what, I like my reverb where it is. I don't need to ever touch it. So that's not a problem. You don't need to put these widgets up there to see them. You can just control the volume of your independent instruments because everybody knows, you know, you show up at the gig and you want to be able to just tweak your volumes a little bit because of the way the room is shaped or something like that. Now, finally, if you use tracks, that's one thing that everyone has always sort of been like the make or break point, right? You're like, well, I, I like all this stuff, but I use a ton of backing tracks. I got to open my songs up in GarageBand or I got to open my songs up in Cubase. I need those tracks. Well, Gig Performer can do that as well. You can do multi-track playback. If you want to play back just a single track, you can. So if you have everything mixed down to an MP3, you can do that. Or if you want to keep them separated, because you never know, you might have a guest vocalist or, you know, you can kill the background vocal track, or you might have a guest guitarist. You want to kill the guitar track. There are great, great, great things set up. And look how easy it is. Audio file player, just one thing. You drop all your tracks in there. You can decide the volume of each one. You can decide whether it's a one shot so you can play an extra sound effect at the beginning of a track. You can loop sections, which is great as well. So if you want to loop your song and you want it to like go over so that you want to play and jam for a while on it, you can. And then you can kill the loop when you're done. That's the great thing. So you can even set a button in the front to say, okay, this song's wrapping up. Let's not loop anymore. And then when it gets to the end of the song, it gets to the end of the song or the end of that, you know, section that you've uh, queued up. So that's really great is that you've got the ability to like adjust the volumes of all those tracks individually. I mean, this is really way more powerful um, and it's a lot simpler to use. So Kick Performer is a great uh, live and studio performance tool. And as you can see, there's a lot of benefits to jumping into the world of live performance apps as opposed to simply playing the stuff back from your DAW.